All right, all right. Are you ready, baby? Are you ready? Are you ready? Is this microphone on? Are you ready? I'm so excited to be here with you, family, my beloved. Let's get into the spiritual sweet spot. Yes, let's jump in here so we can get a cleansing. Let's wash our souls. Oh, I'm so excited. Feel that energy. Feel that water energy. Feel that cleansing water energy. Let's dive deep. Let our souls dive deep into this cleansing. I am so ready. Let's shake the shoulders off. Shake the shoulders. Come on. Loosen them up. Loosen them up. Let's take in a deep breath. Deep breath with me now. Deep breath with me. Wait a minute. Is this microphone on? Let's take in a deep breath with me. One, two, three. Take it in and out. Exhale. Feel that, feel that coming from your gut, feel that coming from your internal higher self. I'm so excited. Now, do me a favor, do me a favor, roll down that window or pull that window open. We need to flicker some of this energy off. I know I need to uh, get out of here, get out of here, get some of that energy out, get some of that energy you do not want on you out, flick it out. Flick it out that window. Yes, baby. Flick it out. Yep. Close that window. <laughs> Close that window. All right. We are focusing on new energy. New energy. That is our mantra today. New energy, baby. I am so excited to be here with you all. Global audience, thank you so, 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 so much. This is a spiritual sweet spot. And we're getting ready to get in here into that center I would say the epicenter of the soul. I know I have my Florida water. Let's spray some Florida water in the atmosphere. Do you know they also make sage spray? Let's get that spray too. If you got sage spray, I still use the old, old white sage. Smoke it out, but I'm going to do some Florida water in here. Spray, spray. Let's get some spray refuse infuse let's get that aroma going baby i gotta feel my soul i gotta just feel that feel that energy i gotta let's come on get feel some of this energy right here all right let's get ready are you ready let's get into today's message i'm so excited that you are all here with me today and i'm getting ready <laughs> yo 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 Our shaman has spoken, right? Did you hear that voice there right before I came on? I'm so excited to be before you all. And so here's another message coming from spirit. And see if this message resonates with you. All these messages are timeless. So sometimes they may resonate with an individual today, tomorrow, three months from now, perhaps a year or two years from now. I'm so excited to be before you all. And thank you so much for your support. Thank you for continually downloading the podcast i am utterly humbled all right so spirit is saying go on over there and talk to them people go on and i said but spirit and spirit was like but <laughs> but <laughs> i said okay spirit good goobly goo goo and i was supposed to come a couple of days ago and i was like spirit spirit knows i'm like spirit listen okay let me just chill spirit is like nope I'm not coming out of this head. I'm not coming out of this heart. You're going to go sit down there and talk to the people. And I said, okay, okay, spirit. Okay, whatever you want. And so don't be afraid to start over. Do not be afraid to start over. This might be a message for someone, but I have felt this message on more than one occasion in my life, honey. Do not be afraid to start over. Do not. All right. So, you know, I feel like so oftentimes, right? Well, I'm going to only speak from my experiences because it's my experiences alone that I do understand. And so I've always felt like for the longest time, you know, as a human, because what else could I be? As a human, um, I've accumulated stuff over the years, held on to stuff over the years, whether it was materialistic relationships, things that no longer served me. And remember, it goes, oh, this is hearkening back to that one podcast where letting go of things that no longer serve you. Mm -hmm. Go listen to that one. And then we listen to letting go of things that no longer serve you. And then you top it off with this one. This is the cherry on that ice cream. Did somebody say ice cream? All right. <laughs> I'm twitching over here now, but so, you know, so do not be afraid to start over. And 
And so let us, queen of disclaimers in the house, let us do our little disclaimer. Next, uh, the next topic or the next message here or the information to come up here, warning, 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 or we'll might have triggers, trigger alert warning, um, and I guess 18 and over um, elements of perhaps domestic violence being brought up. And so if it's something you're not wanting to listen to, tune out right now. Alert, alert, alert. All right. So let's get to the point here. So do not be afraid to start over. Do not be afraid to start over. Do not be afraid to start over. So one of the very one of the parts that I remember in my younger days, back in the heyday, I remember being in a relationship. Of course, at that time, I was young, naive. I wasn't, you know, it started off really good, like some relationships start. And so by the time that this individual became emotionally and physically abusive, I had already fallen for this person. And I remember at that time, what happened was I had slowly moved my most valuable possessions to his place. So, you know, I had a jewelry box over there. I had, you know, all my things that I typically needed, you know, laptop and so forth, things that mattered to me, things that I had purchased at the tender age of 19. Boy, I tell you. And so, you know, as the as the relationship progressed, of course, the violence increased or the abuse, especially emotional abuse and some um, physical um, abuse continued. And then I mustered the courage and I said, I'm, I'm out of here. I, you know, I cannot take this any longer. And I remember that day because even in that moment when I was driving to that town, I made a purposeful stop at the sheriff's department. And I remember ringing the intercom and the person answered and I say to them, I was at nighttime and I said, I need a sheriff to escort me to go and get my items from a, um, at that time it was my boyfriend at my boyfriend's house. I mean, soon to be ex-boyfriend by then, that day, you know what I'm saying? And so they were like, we don't have any units right now. And I said, okay. Something in my heart say, don't go, but listen, she's hard headed though, even at 19. And so there I go drive myself over there it was one of those gated communities where you needed a car to get in and get out so when I approached the gated community the gate opened uh the car was going in and I went right in behind them and when I went in right behind them I parked my car close to this person's place and I went knocked on the door now we had already been kind of like you know um what do you want to call it? Maybe like, you know, going back and forth over the phone, you know, I was back home and I didn't really want to see them, but I'd gone over there to go get these little items that I'd accumulated at the tender age of 19. And so they let me in, you know, um, five, three, they were like about six foot three. And so they let me in, but not knowing that when that door closed, I would have been fighting for my life that day. I didn't see that a hundred percent coming, but, um, because I say 100% because I'm not a violent person. Uh, but uh, sis uh, knew where the scissors were in that house. And in my mind, I'd said, okay, if we go south, we're going to have to figure out plan B. I don't know why scissors is. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's just, you're just thinking kind of like, let me just, you know. So I already mentioned that I wanted to come get my things. And they had kind of, you know, I, we had been going back and forth at it. And they were kind of nice about it. Come get them. That's why I tried to go to the sheriff's um, uh, to go get a sheriff or whatever. But, you know, they were busy. And so <laughs> there were no units. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, what are they at, lunch? But any whoosie. So I go in there. The door closes. Dude stays, uh, uh, puts the back, puts his back against the door and he says, go get your stuff. And now shoot my heart's like, uh Oh, so now I never, I never went there with my purse. My purse stayed in the trunk in the car and I walked towards the, to the bedroom to go get my stuff. But my heart was like, watch your six sis, watch your six. And so I'm going and I'm like, ah, something ain't right. Because if I make it to that bedroom, I, I don't know. You know, so I kind of like backtrack and they're like, oh, get your stuff or whatever. And I'm like, nah, uh -uh. this person was like really mean to me a while ago, uh, some days ago. And all of a sudden I'm talking about my stuff. You kind of say, come get it. And it's kind of a different um, a shift in the way they're treating me. And this is a person who had already been threatening me. I know where your family lives and all this other stuff. And you, you know, it's, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. You're not going anywhere, blah, 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 all this stuff. You know, this was back and forth on the phones and all this other stuff. I'd heard of it before 
more in person, but you know, so it was, so I kind of back track a little bit. I'm wearing flip flops. This is Southern California summertime. So when I back, you know, walk backwards, back pedal a little bit, I slide my flip flops off. Cause I'm like, we're not going to make that marathon, you know? And so all of a sudden when I then turn around to go towards the door, cause I thought, you know what? I shouldn't just came here like this. And this is a message for any young girls that are out there in toxic relationship message alert, message alert, sidebar, you know, it's not worth your life. It is not worth your life. No ma'am. And so, and so when I head out through the door for the door, they kind of do that like defense mode, like trying to, where you going, where you going? And I say, Oh, holy, holy crap. You know, it's about to be on and popping in here. It's like six, three. I'm like five, three. And then we get that. Like, I'm trying to go for the door. He's trying to take me away from the door. We get the scuffling, scuffling. We end up on the floor. But I remembered where the scissors was, right by the coffee table. You know, grab the scissors. I wasn't going to nick him or nothing like that. But I thought if I, you know, get away, get away, something it will happen. But no, no, no resisting. And, I mean, continue to resist, actually. And then, so I freaked out because I didn't want to, like, use force with the scissors, if that makes sense. But we're scuffling. But I knew that they couldn't get in his hands and uh, never let him go. Whatever it was, um, I wiggle out of it. Shirt ripped. Uh, we had whatever shirt whatever listen wiggled out of it still had the keys clutched really tight headed for the door by the time i headed for the door that he's getting up i'm running to my car jump in the car now i gotta leave this community but guess what she doesn't have a gate key i love her so i'm like please 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 somebody come in come out come in come out come in come out this dude literally doing a hussein bolt across the freaking like because like the way the apartment saw is that gate that comes in and you go way all the way around and then another gate that leaves out so when i backed up the gate that i'd come in i couldn't see any lights coming so i started to go behind the complex like that but as you go behind the buildings you're seeing somebody just like running across like to try and catch me on the other side before i leave and then i make it to the other side y'all i was like please 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 i will listen okay you're like lord take me out of this i'll never do this again right and and i'm hard-headed no, no i'm just kidding i learned my lesson then and then i get to the gate like it was as soon as i started getting to the gate well when i went to the other side to where the gate was going straight now i see the dude had just cut across and was headed to pick stones the one at my car but then lights came and i just when the gate opened i just quickly sped out and i uh was history went to my homegirl's house you know to have a vent sash like girl you would not believe da, 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 you know blah, blah 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 everything else that girls say you know all this other stuff but i was done i looked like i had just escaped i don't know what but i definitely um escaped with my life that's what i had done a sidebar young ladies listening to this in relationships a man has no right to call you out of your name and or verbally abuse you and or put hands on you period all right so now let's go forward um on that note sidebar don't anybody go start picking fights with anyone but i'm not saying that at the same time even if a lady oh lord we're about to get into some political shenanigans here y'all get the point just don't put hands on each other anyway so um fast forward in life built a house ground up everything case sera sera uh all my furnitures was were new and everything like that but things were moving differently that was the hardest decision for me to ever make where for the e, e, whether it's relationship or materialistic things that you accumulate along the way emotionally and or mentally or psychologically Mm, I mean, it, it does something to you. And I remember that first time that when I had to, uh, when I was leaving that house and so forth, I sold my washer and dryers because where I was going, they had them. I didn't know what to do with them. I wanted them, but I was not going to pay for storage. Well, that she's cheap like that. And so, and a lot of things. And then I downsized. So now I didn't need the guest bedroom sets and all this other stuff. And blah, 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 blah. And once again, had to start over. Let all that stuff go. Start over. Um, 
I'm saying all this to say these are just a few examples, but in life, one should never be afraid to start over. It doesn't matter if there's been an investment financially or emotionally. Is it healthy for you? Is it um, mentally sound for you? If it's something that is not healthy mentally, physically, emotionally, uh, same as mentally, I guess, then you have to reevaluate what what matters to you the most. I, I wanted to talk about my incident at 19 in that relationship. Of course, definitely, uh, there was poor decision-making processes on my end in that relationship. It taught me a whole lot, okay, a whole lot. Just say it this way. No man has ever talked to me crazy or put hands on me after that. I'm just saying. But even in that moment at 19, the only few things that mattered to me were the things that I wanted. And I could have almost risked my life for that materialistic stuff. And that lesson alone in life taught me something because I left a dear freaking jewel. Bo- I mean, I was kind of hurt a little bit, you know, months later, a jewelry box there. And like, you know, hey, my wigs too. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Those expensive, you know, and all kinds of stuff that, you know, where my prized kind of possessions I mean I'm 19 that's all I mean other than the car that's what I get you know and I was so hurt especially in my jewelry box weird enough I'm not a big jewelry person but I'd accumulated jewelry inside that jewelry for the jewelry box right period it was mine but so you know I realized then after that moment and as I traveled through life after that, that I should not be afraid to let things go and not be afraid to start over. Not when your life counts on it, family. Not when your life counts on it. Look, don't put up with that. If you're in an emotionally um, toxic relationship, it's not worth it. Don't be afraid to start over. Most times I've found that, you know, perhaps by experience, it's easy to stay in something, you know, because you have a history or you know each other or that's your special kind of crazy. But at what cost emotionally and physically at what cost? Same as the materialistic things we accumulate. This is how I've always looked at it now is especially when I've lost a lot of materialistic things in my life, just going through life's transitions. And I realized that the same way you accumulated that stuff is the same way you can always get that stuff. If that doesn't sit well with you, I always go back to the people that are abruptly moving out of their states because of inclement weather. A hurricane is coming in or a tornado is coming in or perhaps their hurricane is coming, demolished everything or the, or the tornado. So I start to think about those families or those people. Like they had no choice but to start over. Like everything, life's collections and so forth, gone right? Definitely dramatic example. But to you, I say that if you're considering starting over, it doesn't matter if you've invested 20 years, 15 years in a relationship, if it is not serving you mentally and emotionally. And listen, I'm not advocating that people get divorced, split up or break up because I don't know the story. I'm thinking perhaps you might want to go to therapy first or do something. I don't know because I don't know y'all relationships. I'm just throwing this out there. Just be, be cognizant to the fact that sometimes, you know, you could be with somebody for 20 30 years but if it's toxic unhealthy and your therapist is saying child you got to go to safety you know or, or and so forth or people that uh, you adv- admire their advice have told you that you perhaps are in something toxic and unhealthy then you probably have to start to to look at your life and think that i mean not think but or ponder but look at your life and contemplate starting over the v- uh, visit your heart but start over. Everyone deserves happiness, right? And then we go to the materialistic things. Yeah. Perhaps you 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 have lived there for 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, you're 10 years or five years away from the mortgage and 2020 happened. Everything is upside down and you're being forced out. Now you can't even get out of bed because you only got a couple of months to go and you don't even know what to do. Definitely hard. Definitely hard. But it's not as scary as one may think starting over again. Count on the universe to give you the courage. Count on the universe to give you the courage and the direction and the wisdom. You know, I'm not advocating that look and I'm not minimizing 
uh, any current situations, definitely. There's a lot going on, you know, uh, definitely with mortgages and rents and so forth. But all I'm saying is, and, and I'm not saying, well, yeah, just turn your back and go away and it'll be fine. No, 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 no. Every I've always grieved everything I've lost, no matter what it was, my house, my furniture, my, my jewelry box, uh, whatever it is that I owned or a part of me that it, whatever I left or it moved on and, you know, was a painful moment or whatever the case was, I've always given myself enough time to grieve that process so I could go somewhere else, uh, start afresh and um, um, sanctify myself in positivity and not bring that like dark, low energy, wherever it is that I, I, I needed to go. So family, I love you so much and understand that this is unpacking emotional baggage and or um, this is unpacking emotional baggage or materialistic baggage, literally, figuratively. I mean, same thing. You know, I'm just kidding. But I mean, just emotional and or materialistic baggage, right? It's time for you to seek your higher self and ask yourself, self, what is it that I need out of life? If you're in, absolutely. And once again, I'm not here to advocate on how people need to handle their relationships. Only you know how to do the inventory check up on it and know when everyone knows when it's time to go. And perhaps it's been time to go. But you're going to have to do the work and figure it out and do everything that you need to do for yourself. But some like I've said, just I say that relationship part because sometimes we look at our history or what we've invested in it. And we find that as an excuse or justification to stay in a toxic or foul or uh, uh, an abusive uh, relationship when that's actually far from it. You know, I think sometimes low key we're internally afraid to start over or perhaps sometimes we don't know how, but you just got to take baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Don't be afraid, whatever it is. If it's a career, you've been somewhere for over 30 years, all of a sudden, perhaps to 2020 stuff got dissolved or you're like, you know what? I need a career change. That's kind of scary, ain't it? Like if you've been someone has been used to being somewhere for a very long time and then you got like your lingo with your coworkers, they're like your family or friends or, you know, you've had your flow, you know, you know, you know, the people, they know you. And now f after so long, you have to go tuck yourself into a whole nother tribe, a whole nother environment, a group of people, and you got to start your friendships again. Don't be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to start over. Do not be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to start over. Perhaps it's even, you know, you've been at a certain school, now you have to transfer. Perhaps it's the, the, it, it, whatever it is in your life, that's calling for you to start over. Don't be afraid to start over. Family, life itself. Maybe it's calling for you to go start over somewhere you're not comfortable with. Or, you you know, don't be afraid. Great things happen, remember, in the realm of uncertainty, if we hearken back to that podcast. It, it, it is. It's also a scary feeling to start over because you're going sometimes to uncertain places emotionally and or perhaps um physically especially if you've been in long-term relationships and stuff like that and you guys are used to each other and then now you gotta go perhaps even start over but i mean I, my I, listen i my recommendation is if you break up after a long-term relationship you might need some time to breathe and whatnot you know taking some air in and out and just take a chill pill perhaps take a little higher self here and there and just get acclimate and you know and straighten up and align your chakras and then perhaps go on to another venture you know you just don't want to hop from relationship to another relationship that's just my opinion but listen if you like it i love it but that's just my opinion because you want to give yourself time to breathe and kind of especially if um there's any emotional package you're still emotionally attached to that person you know, because you don't want to do anything crazy to the other person where you go into another relationship, but you're still thinking of this other person or you're not broken up emotionally, you know. And so now this other person has to maybe suffer the wrath of that and break their heart. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot that goes in with that. Right. Sidebar. But let's continue. Don't be afraid to start over no matter what it is. Work, school, uh, family. <laughs> Anybody want mine? I could swap. I could switch for good. Um, I keep all my siblings, though. I will keep all my siblings. Sorry. And my cousin. You cannot have my siblings and my cousin. Uh, everything else. 
I'll trade you. No, I'm just teasing. But so don't be afraid to start over. Dig deep inside. You got it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. Don't be afraid to start over, man. I stuff can get so scary sometimes, especially if you've been used to certain ways and flows. And and that's what typically keeps some of us a majority because the, the, the comfort is better than the uncomfortable, the unknown, uncertain when you do start over. But whatever it is you do, don't put any seeds of doubt in your mind. As you prepare and as you look to starting over, don't put I before F. Don't do the if stuff. Don't do that. Just go for it. If anything, go look up inspiring stories that can help you. It's one of the things that always have often helped me is, like I say, when I've uh, walked away from materialistic things, lost money financially. I mean, listen, probably collectively, if we wanted to say the monies that I've been out of, uh, probably $200,000 or so, but not like, you know, the cash wise will be about 60000 or so. I mean, listen, okay. So, um, you know, it's weird because <laughs> when money is a lot, when you listen back in the day, you know, back in the day, you know, you hustling, you doing your little job, what, 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 what. And so you lose like $20 or $10. You're like, oh, my gosh, like I had a coronary. But then you lose like major amounts of money in life. And you're like, fam, I couldn't even I didn't even shed a tear, you know, because it's like. I, but no, back in the day, that $10 or $20, it was a big deal. Like, no, 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 no. What do you mean? I lost it. It was in my pocket. You know, another $20 was supposed to carry me for three weeks or something like that. But you all, I love you so much. And my words of wisdom uh, finally sat down. The words of wisdom, I don't even say my, because Spirit was like, tell people not to be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to start over. Whoever this resonates with, I know it definitely always resonates with me. And like I said, it's a timeless message. It can resonate today, tomorrow, five months from now, six months from now. But whatever you do, don't doubt yourself. And don't put the I before the F ever when you do take the steps to start over to start all over again don't be afraid i love you guys that much life is happening right now not tomorrow not yesterday but today seize the moment to enjoy each day while en route to your intended destiny a quote by memory ben if no one has told you this today i love you I appreciate you. And yes, we can do this thing called life.